hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind user login profile image on a customized login control and we got the output I'm entering the username is Jack when I click tab notice the Jack image is a car one and we got the label welcome jack of the username when I click Charan when I enter Charan and we got the Charan profile image with the label welcome Charan suppose if I enter other than Charan Jack when I click tab see the profile image is the default one and the username is not registered if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to create the customized login page with profile picture. Suppose if I enter Charan, when I click tab, notice we got the user profile of the Charan. If I enter other than Charan, If the user is not valid user it will show the default image now in this video I will show you I want to get the valid user profile image from the database let's get back to my visual studio ASP.NET and this is a code we have just seen on the browser I'm deleting this code I want to bind the profile images and the login control from the SQL server database Let's add using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client the last one using system dot configuration after adding these three namespaces now I can able to access the SQL server classes in this web form page before writing the coding part let's add the data source connection string in the web.config file go to server explorer data connections right click that one add connection the server name is after adding server name I'm selecting the database name sample db is my user database test connection ok click ok and here the database data connection is added to the data connections folder right click the sample db.dbo properties under connection there is a connection string property here which is a data source copy that one open solution explorer open web.config file I'm adding my data source connection string in the web.config file inside the configuration connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm pasting the data source here and the last one is the provider name which is system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file let's switch back to the code behind and here I am writing the coding in the text change the event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this main connection object string SQL query before writing the SQL statement let's open the SQL server database 
we'll check the table and the column names. I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management. I'm expanding the databases. The sample DB is my user database which we have chosen when we are creating the data source connection string. I'm expanding sample DB as well as the tables I'm expanding. For this video tutorial, I'm using user registration table. Let's browse the table, right click, select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this user registration table which contains four columns id which is the auto gendered column username and password and profile pic in the profile pic the column i'm storing only the path and the images are stored in my project folder right now i have only two users charan and jack let's get back to the coding part we'll finish the rest of the code select the column names are username comma and the profile pic from the table name dbo.user registration I'm pasting here where username is equals to I'm adding single quotes And between these plus symbols, I am adding my text box control of username. Text username dot text. SQL command. SQL com is equal to new SQL command, which takes two parameters. One is a command statement, which is a SQL query. And the second one is a connection object, which is a SQL connection. SQL connection dot open method. I'm opening the connection. SQL data reader. SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method. If SDR dot read method. the username is valid image one dot image url is equals to sdr here i'm adding my profile pick username between double quotes dot to string and also i want to display the username on the login control in my previous video i have not added the label control Let's go to the designing part. After the image, I'm adding break. Here I'm adding the label control, toolbox, label control. Label, username. I'm deleting the text property of the label switch to the coding part the label lab username dot text is equals to welcome plus sdr between double quotes the column name is a username i'm adding here dot to string method I want to display this username in a green color. Lab username dot four color is equals to system dot drawing dot color dot green. Let's copy this as if the username is not available i want to display the image is a default image which is this one
let's delete this one username is not registered and the fourth color I want to display in a red color as I told these images I have stored in the project folder here in the images folder the charan is a charan image for the jack is a car one see the jack is a car one the charan image is charan let's check the results on the google chrome and we got the output i'm entering the username is jack when i click tab notice the jack image is a car one and we got the label welcome jack of the username when i click charan when i enter charan and we got the charan profile image with the label welcome charan suppose if i enter other than charan jack when i click tab see the profile image is the default one and the username is not registered that's it